term Renaissance woman is defined as one who has broad intellectual interests and is accomplished in areas of both the arts and the sciences. And when she's not completing her master's thesis at Royal Roads or traveling the world as a pro freeride mountain biker, Comox's Darcy Turin is making movies. Darcy Turan is used to putting the boots to the competition as a pro mountain biker. That's what I'm paid to do, is actually be an athlete. The Oakley-sponsored rider and Canada Cup downhill champion is taking well-roundedness to new heights, though. The UVic grad pursued her master's degree in the professional communications program at Royal Roads University and presented her thesis in a more visual medium than most. Instead of writing a paper, my professor gave me the go-ahead to make a documentary film. So I just finished the film. I was in Indonesia for two months shooting it, and it's about female action sport athletes, Indonesian female action sport athletes. The eighth parallel is a 27-minute short featuring athletes just like Darcy, but who face the challenges of Indonesia's male-dominated sporting culture. It's a different world from Equal Opportunity Canada. Over there, getting involved in sports, particularly action sports, where there's more of a risk of getting injured, is a real faux pas, and um, it really goes against the grain of the social fabric. And the film shows gender barriers aren't the only hurdles. The biggest limitation from all the interviews I did for women getting involved in sports, action sports, uh, was they didn't want to get dark skin. The perception of beauty has so much to do with being as white as possible, and uh, I found that pretty heartbreaking. Her film has seen the light of day, garnering 27,000 looks so far on the internet, but what's next? I've submitted it to a bunch of film festivals. My big hope is it gets picked up by the Victoria Film Festival. Believe it or not, though, the film is already old news to Darcy. She's back on the bike this weekend at Mount Washington, putting on her own women's mountain bike festival called Sea Jane Jump. There's 70 girls coming from all over North America, and it's just a, a low-key festival, um, coaching, whining, dining. It's uh, after Sea Jane Jump Fest, I'm relaxing for a little bit. And by relaxing, she means... Surfing, because out there in Jordan River, there's no cell phone reception. She doesn't sit around for long, no. though. Uh, people coming from as far away as Japan to take part in that uh, this weekend at Mount Washington. Oh, should be fun. Mm -hmm.